Big Dipper Needle Drive is a suturing exercise on the yellow foam simulated suture pad. The exercise is thus named because you are dealing with only the anterior five dots that mimic the constellation of the Big Dipper. You'll be required to basically connect the dots through your suturing, first starting with the dot for the screen right. In order to stay oriented, you will need to note that the entry site is the blinking dot and the exit site will be the uh, open non-blinking dot. And this will become more important as you move through the exercise because the activity will have you throw the suture in different directions and orientations, which will prompt you to switch which hands you're throwing the suture with, as well as changing the hand orientation by which you grab the needle with. Of all the VR simulated suture exercises, we found uh, this one to be the most clunky and sometimes glitchy. We've had multiple runs where the needle seems to get stuck either on entry or on pull through. And even releasing the needle after a successful throw, the arm seemed to jump forward occasionally. And so you really have to take your time and be patient with this exercise because any sort of bad angle or trying to force the needle through will ultimately result in penalties or the needle simply getting stuck requiring you to restart the exercise. You can see that we completed our first successful run through the Big Dipper constellation and now we are going back. The purpose of this is to provide practice with needle handling and force you to try and anticipate what the next throw will be so that your pull through and reload are efficient and have purpose in order to set you up for the subsequent throw. In a general rule of thumb, we found that the uh, best suturing technique is to use the right arm for any suturing taking place on the top part of the foam in the right to left direction. And any throw that is going through the corner in the vertical direction, such as this one, can actually be done with either arm. Suturing in the left or right direction, regardless of being on the top or the side of the foam, is best done with the left arm, just as suturing in the right to left direction is best done with the right arm. As mentioned before, the corner throws can be done with either arm in the vertical direction. We did it with the left arm because we had reloaded and pulled the needle through with the right just making our moves that much more efficient. Keys to scoring successfully on this exercise require you to be patient and take your time with your entry into the proper position, paying attention to orientation, and avoiding excessive needle pokes and sticks in non-designated areas.